Hi, I'm Paul from Norton, and today we're going to show you how to dismount and remount a bench grinding wheel on your pedestal or bench grinder. To help me do that today, I've got my colleague here, Steve. Steve, would you like to introduce yourself? Thank you, Paul. Yes, uh, my name is Stephen Woods. I am the product manager for Bonded Abrasives. Okay, so first job, let's get this wheel off. Let's go. Paul, let's go. Okay, so first thing to do is isolate your machine. So not only switch it off at the wall, but also unplug it for extra safety. Okay, so now we remove the guard and the face shield. This is simply done by removing all retaining screws, but make sure you make a note of where any different size screws came from because you're gonna to have to put these back later. Okay, so now we need to unlock the flanges. Remember, this is a left-handed thread, so it can cause some confusion. On this model, we need to use an Allen key to lock the spindle. So once we've removed the locking nut and the flange, we can now take off the old wheel. So once we've removed the flanges and the wheel, we can now check the condition of the spindle and the flanges. Before we mount the wheel, we need to do visual checks on the condition of the wheel. We need to look for any damage or cracks uh, that we can see on the wheel. If it's good, we now need to perform the ring test. This is done by gently tapping the wheel with a small piece of wood and listening to whether it has a nice harmonic ring. Now, as you can see here, the bore size of our wheel is actually 32 millimeters and our spindle size is 20 millimeters. So we need to use the plastic reduction rings you can see Steve fitting here. We already have uh, blotters attached. If your wheel does not come with blotters, have a look in your box. They should be there, but always use blotters when you're mounting your wheel. So now time to mount the wheel. So ensuring the back flange is in place, we can now mount the wheel and tighten up the outer flange. Be careful not to over tighten the wheel. Okay, so now it's time to reattach the guard, the face shield and the platen support. Positioning the platen is very important. Make sure you get it as close to the wheel as, as possible without actually touching the wheel. So now we've got the wheel mounted, all the guards are in place. It's now time to switch on the machine. Remember, always step away to the side on first startup. So it looks like we're about done. Thank you very much, Steve. No so there's how to mount a bench wheel on your bench grinder.